Hey guys, what's up? This is Frank from MTG Unlimited, and today I'll show you guys a video of whether or not you should get an M15 booster box. Um, I've talked about M15 in, in some of my past videos. Uh, I think it's a great set overall. M15's got a lot of card value. I went into specific cards in some of my other videos. I don't really want to go into it anymore, like, too specifically, just because I've already covered that. If you haven't checked out the videos, I'd highly recommend checking them out. Uh, thanks for the support, guys. Uh, you've been a great channel, uh, subscribers so far. Just great community overall so far. Uh, so let's get into the video here. M15 is a great set overall. It's got a ton of money cards. Uh, the Planeswalkers are all very good, too. So I'll just talk about the first one, Ajani. Now, he's a 4-drop Planeswalker. I think he's meant for aggro decks. He's very good for aggro decks, especially decks like White Weenie. Um, decks that aren't really rotating out because of, like, Brimaz and Phalanx Leader and Favorite Hoplite. I think White Weenie's not really going anywhere, especially with the addition of Ajani to the deck. He really completes a deck. He's at the high end of the curve, but he's kind of a win condition of its own. Just a great Planeswalker overall. I don't see him going below 10 whatsoever. Another Planeswalker I'll talk about is Nisa. Now, Nisa is something else. She's a fantastic Planeswalker. 5-drop, again, high end of the curve, but she has two fantastic abilities, and her ultimate is insane. Her ultimate is a win condition, and both of her plus 2s are insane. Either you're getting a 4-4 four, four creature, or you're untapping 4 lands, which both of which are absolutely insane for a Planeswalker. I don't see her going below 20 for a very long time. Just a great Planeswalker. I'm really glad that they made the switch back to Nisa. It's a great uh, Planeswalker overall. Uh, yeah, so let's move on. Uh, another Planeswalker, Garrick. Now, Garrick has also been highly anticipated. Just a very intense Planeswalker. He's He's got four abilities. He enters with a lot of loyalty counters, but he's a seven drop. And I think you can definitely play him on turn five in Jund decks, or uh, I don't know if a black-green deck will emerge for him, but overall, he's a great Planeswalker. If you get him out, you basically won the game. He, I don't see him going below 15. Just a great card overall. Um, yeah, the Painlands, I want to talk about them now. The Painlands, I think, are going to go up quite a bit, especially after Shocklands rotate. With the rotation of Shocklands, people were concerned that the format would slow down, but I think Painlands will definitely make up for that. However, the, they're only reprinting the enemy Painlands, so that will make a, quite an imbalance in Standard. I think it'll have a decent impact, not a ton, but I think they're great. They're great cards. I'm not surprised that Wizards decided to reprint them in M15, but I think I think it's a good choice. Uh, some of the casual cards that are still going to have an effect on standard, some of the less anticipated cards, I guess you could say, that I'll just skim over are like Sliver Hive Lord, the Chain Veil, Waste Knot, Soul of New Phyrexia, uh, Scuttling Doom Engine, just kind of cards like that. They really help increase the value of the set. The M15 has a lot of cards in the, like, three to five dollar range, the five to ten dollar range, and it's got a few bombs that are just insane. I think if you want to get a booster box, I'd say definitely go for it. The value's there. It's a great set. However, if you're looking for a couple specific cards, I'd say just pick up those cards specifically. And also, if a bo getting a booster box, it's hundred dollars. If it's going to break your bank, um, I'd say also don't go for it. Just get some specific cards that you need. I think it's a great value set. I think you should only get it if you're comfortable spending all that money getting it. It's got the value there, so I'd say definitely go for it. Uh, and also, if you want to just trade the cards that you get for things that you need, I think that's definitely going to be an option. You're pretty much guaranteed some great cards if you get a booster box. I mean, it's such a fantastic set. I think it's, I think it's the best core set since 10th edition, and I think it's the second best set in standard right now. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you could please hit that like or subscribe button below, that would be great. Thanks for all the support.